In this first video, we'll dig into the basics of Webpack and its core features. Let's begin. Webpack is a module bundler like parcel and is used when building sophisticated JavaScript applications. Perhaps the biggest reason for choosing Webpack is the magnitude of customizability that it offers. Virtually all facets of Webpack are configurable right from how files are loaded and parsed to the transformation pipeline, automation, compilation, and the way the production build is generated. This makes Webpack great for all kinds of situations. In fact, a lot of popular tool chains are built on top of Webpack with deep customization. Webpack at its core is quite simple to understand. You point Webpack at your main JavaScript file and that becomes the source for Webpack to trace and generate a dependency graph. A dependency graph simply maps out modules and other assets that are needed. You can even import non-JavaScript assets in your scripts, such as style sheets and images. Once the dependency graph is generated, Webpack uses a set of loaders to load and parse content. You can also incorporate plugins for processing various kinds of assets such as SAS style sheets, React, JSX, and more. After transformation and processing, Webpack optimizes and generates one or more bundles. In a nutshell, the process isn't very different from what you've seen in Parcel, but here you get far more control on how everything works. To control Webpack's behavior, configuration files are used. At its core, a configuration file defines an entry point or the script from where Webpack should start tracing dependencies. And you can configure how you want the output bundles named and placed. But the transformation and passing pipeline is where Webpack offers its strength. The first component of such a transformation pipeline are the loaders. A loader is a pluggable system that enables Webpack to read, parse, and transform a specific type of media, such as style sheets, SAS files, JavaScript, TypeScript, images, and others. Depending on the needs of your project, you can set up a series of loaders, tell them to look for files of a specific extension, and this allows them to load and transform content. For instance, you could load up TypeScript code using the TS loader, which then converts it to JavaScript that will be produced in the final bundle. Just like loaders, plugins are a way to add transformation capabilities to the transformation chain. In fact, Webpack is built on top of the core plugin mechanism. This allows developers to extend its capabilities. Internally, plugins get access to the compilation process and they can hook in at any stage to implement custom transformation. Besides this, Webpack can also be configured with the development server, once again thanks to its plugin-based architecture. As mentioned earlier, Webpack can be used with both web and Node.js environments and it also features tree shaking which, as you saw in the case of Parcel, omits unused code from bundles. In this module, we'll work with Webpack 5 and the project which we saw in the previous module as we set up development and production pipe. Want to optimize your web development workflow? We assure you that you are in for a treat. Knowledge at Upgrad is the perfect place for you to learn, grow, and become an expert at what you do. Let's see why. With our outcome-based immersive learning approach, you're fundamentally disrupting the way new age technologies are learned. You'll get to learn, practice, assess, gain insights on your learning, and personalize your learning journey on our easy to navigate AI-powered skill building platform, PRISM. Stay tuned for more such videos and explore more about how you can equip yourself with immediately demonstrable in-demand skills that will help you get job ready. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos.